Brad, would you like to start us off on the Zoom? Yes, how are you ladies? Um, a great game tonight. Um, can you speak of your assists? They were really good and how you could see the ball movement on the floor tonight? Yeah, I think um, our team is really unselfish, you know, passing up maybe a good shot for a great one and having really good cutters, uh, doing like a pass pass around the horn to get find open three point shooters out of their traps as well. Um, we knew coming in tonight that they wanted to trap. So just trying to expose that a little bit. And I thought we did a good job. And Bridget, can you speak of your game tonight? Um, were you in such a, a good, good rhythm? Did you see things from the Sparks defense that got you open? Um, I didn't start, honestly. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I think my first shot went down. They trapped the ball screen, kicked it out to Fee. They, Fee hit me in the corner, and the corners are my hot zone. So I that one felt good, obviously, going down. And then, I mean, you know when it feels good? Like, some shots go in, but they don't feel good. But um, even in warm-up, uh, when I was shooting, the shots that I was missing still felt good. And I'm always going to be aggressive, and I knew I was due for a good game. I haven't shot that well from three this year, and I know um, I got to get my numbers up, and they will come up. So the percentages are in my favor, and uh, today, finally – Felt pretty good, and I've had some good games in LA, so I knew coming here, um, I was excited to play um, in this arena. I thank you so much, ladies. And we'll go Terry to Willie. Uh, congratulations to you both. Thanks so much for taking in the uh, time with us tonight. Um, seven and two, that marks the best start for the Lynx since the 2017. Um, you both, the whole team has talked about expectations and always wanted to win a championship obviously 2017 was a championship year um getting to sort of see those you know those expectations manifest in results early in the season being at the top of the standings um how do you feel it's all come together and now that we're at the point where it's not a small sample size anymore and just uh, how do you feel that this is sustainable for you know long-term success for the rest of the year I think it's sustainable because of our defense. Um, it's not like we're just shooting crazy numbers and are like we're just on a hot streak offensively. Um, we really rely on our defense, and I know Cheryl probably talked that it wasn't that good tonight. Um, but generally, like it's just been really, really good this year. Um, obviously, there's things we need to clean up. You know, points in the paint for the other team is really big, but the way that we fly around, generally, um, you know, help down for each other. I think it's been really good. So I think that's why we've had such a great start. It's because we're not relying solely on our offense. We're relying on our defense. Willie and then Kent. Thank you. Um, Dave, I may ask you away from the game. Um, today we saw a couple of videos of Cam Brink and Haley Van Lith being announced that they're invited to be part of the three on three team. You've been a part of team USA. Um, very touching moments for both those young ladies, just what it means to be a part of, you know, representing your country, the, 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 you know, the overwhelming joy and sort of just the over emotion that you can sort of overtake you, if you will. Yeah. Um, you know, I was really happy for them. Like you said, it was really touching. Um, you know, going to the Olympics is a really big deal. Representing your country at the highest level in sports is amazing. Um, and third on three is so fun. So I'm really excited for them. It's their first Olympics. You know, I hope they go and crush it. Um, and yeah, I mean, this one's really special. Your first time is always so special doing something like this. It's it's great every single time, but I think this is something they'll remember forever. So um, happy for them. Thank you. We'll wrap it up with you, Kent. Uh, thanks. Um... You were talking earlier about uh, the unselfish nature of this team, and and that was something Coach was talking about too. Is that she says she said you you can build a roster, but you just don't know what that chemistry is going to be like. But it was to her almost like a snap of the fingers. It was right from the start that this team kind of had a tightness. And if you look at tonight's game, six players, eight points or more, eight players, multiple assists. I mean people like to talk about chemistry all the time, but in this case, it really seems to be real, isn't it? Yeah, I think a lot of us, I mean, we're all just really good basketball players. And I think 
that's what Cheryl likes um, in players. And then it makes it really easy on the court. Off the court, obviously, we all get along and the locker room's great and fun and good energy always. And obviously, it's good when you're winning too. Uh, that makes things easier. But on the court, just being able to, you know, Cheryl draws something up if it doesn't work, just making the right reads, you know, not necessarily um, having to get to a certain action. But, you know, if they're taking something away, we can easily read it and we're all on the same page. And I think that's why we're hard to guard on the offensive end. And that's why it's fun to play um, with my teammates because, you know, we all just know how to play basketball the right way and um, makes things easier for everybody. And then on the defensive end, too, you have to have the kind of chemistry just to be there for each other and help each other, right? I mean, you can't exist on an island on that end of the court, right? Yeah, that starts in training camp uh, with Cheryl. Obviously, her emphasis is always on the defensive end, and we built trust on that end of the court um, and flying around and just covering for each other, knowing that we want to get up in pressure, and then we know that there's help behind us and trusting that. And we built that over the first stretch of games, and hopefully that can continue. Thank you. Leo, do you have a question? Yeah, I um, just want to ask you all real quick, congratulations again. Um, for the fans that, you know, don't get to see behind the scenes, you know, we've seen that y'all have, you know, come really close and play together as a team, play for each other. But how have y'all bonded off the court in terms of, you know, what you're doing outside? You know, how, what can you share with fans about how close y'all have gotten and, you know, what are some of the things that y'all do, you know, activity-wise together? Um, I think our personalities are just like, they mesh really well. We have so many different kinds, but just together, they really work. So, um, like, obviously the locker room is always really fun. We did stuff for Memorial Day. We're planning a team dinner. We were supposed to go the other day, but something came up. So we um, rescheduled that. But um, I think it just shows like, you don't have to do that, especially as a professional. In college, you're kind of forced to have those team bonding experiences. But at the professional league, Usually everyone just goes and does their own thing. So the fact that we want to hang out with each other, we want to hang out in a large group, I think says a lot. Um, and it makes it more fun. You know, it brings us closer together. It builds our chemistry even more. So it's been really great. Thank you both. Thank you. Thanks.